Imagine you're walking your dog. You're walking at a slow, steady pace, enjoying the sunshine. Then suddenly, your dog begins chasing a squirrel and pulls you along at breakneck speed. Your heart is racing and your legs are scrambling so fast they feel as if they're barely touching the ground. In this, your dog has just taught you the concept of tempo. Tempo could be defined as the pace or speed at which a section of music is played. Tempos help the composer to convey a feeling of either intensity or relaxation. We can think of the tempo as a speedometer of the music. Typically, the speed of the music is measured in beats per minute, or BPM. That can sound complicated, but think about a clock. If you listen to the second hand on a clock, you will hear 60 ticks, or in musical terms, 60 beats in one minute. The tempo can have virtually any amount of beats per minute. The lower the number of beats per minute, the slower the tempo will feel. Inversely, the higher the number of beats per minute, the faster the tempo will be. You can think of it like a speed limit. The higher the number of a speed limit, the faster you're allowed to drive. And while car speeds are dictated with road signs, tempos are often indicated with an Italian word. These words, called tempo markings, can appear anywhere in a piece of music, but most often they are seen at the beginning. Let's look at some of the most common terms. Starting with one of the slowest tempos, adagio, which literally means at ease. This indicates the music should be played slowly. Moving up a notch, we get to andante, which is a very common tempo. It means the music should be played at a moderate walking pace. A way to remember this is to remember the phrase andante, walking with your auntie. And then there's the term allegro, which indicates a fast tempo. Allegro is also very commonly used. Most of the music you hear in adverts uses this tempo because it's faster than the average heart rate and therefore gives a sense of excitement. There are a few alternative words that can be used for these tempos. Sometimes you may see the word lento, which also indicates the music should be played slowly. Moderato is sometimes used to indicate a moderate walking pace. And you may see the word vivace, which is a fast, lively tempo. The tempo doesn't always stay the same throughout a piece of music. Just like our dog walking scenario earlier, it can change. Sometimes the tempo can gradually get faster. 
This is indicated with the word accelerando, which literally means accelerating. Think about an accelerator pedal in a car. Pressing that makes the car speed up. Now, sometimes this word is shortened to acel, A-C-C-E-L. When the tempo gets gradually slower, there are two words that can be used, rallentando or ritterdando. There is a slight difference between them, but both indicate that the music gets gradually slower. These words can be shortened to ral, R-A-L-L, and rit, R-I-T. There are many more intricate details that we could go into when talking about tempo. It doesn't simply tell you the scientific speed to play at, but it can also dictate the overall mood and style of how the music should be played. And that's down to you, as a musician, to interpret and communicate. <laughs>